Hello everyone, in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create something like this. So let's get straight into it. So first of all, I've seen quite a lot of people wonder how you can flatten the grass. If you go down to your terraforming here and select a substrate which is going to take away the grass. Now obviously if you put the grass back in, you can see that it is quite long so there's nothing currently at the moment that actually makes it flatter. You can see there that if you do go for um, maybe like a dirt substrate, if you put the intensity down a little bit, you can like get rid of the grass so it's not as long. But for the purpose of building, I usually just go for a sand one and then kind of figure out the substrate afterwards. But anyway, I think that's okay because we now don't have the long grass, so that's absolutely perfect for building. So we're going to start off by putting down our modular pieces and then we're going to go and grab ourselves a wall piece. So we're going to put two on the front there. We're going to flip that around by pressing Z on our keyboard. We've got two at the back as well. Now you'll notice that this has got a brick texture on it, so you can either hold down shift and click all of the pieces, then come down here to the bottom and click on your brick, that'll change it there. Alternatively, you can hold down control and A and that'll select everything in that group. And again, you can go away and change your substrate, well, your texture. So as you can see, we do actually have a little kiosk bit here. So I'm gonna delete this and then we're gonna go away and get ourselves uh, a little section there for our kiosk. And then we actually have to go find our kiosk. So we're going to go down to guest facilities and then we are going to select information kiosk, press Z on your keyboard to rotate it. So we're going to pop that down there. Now it will come up that it does need a path. So if we do come down to our paths and then I believe the one that I picked was this one. It doesn't really matter to be honest. You can pick any of them. So we are just going to go away and make a path like so. That is basically our kiosk in place. Now you'll see that this is the burger one. If you go up to edit group, select your kiosk here. Down at the bottom, you can change it. So I want to have mine as the Sweet Tooth brand. And again, you can go away and change the background as well. So a lot of color options here if you wanted to go and sort that out. I quite like the mint. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to put on our roof. So again, if we go back to our modular pieces here and then go to our second tab, that's our roof tab. And I just want something really basic because you can see what I've put over there. So I believe it is possible this one that looks about right now I want this to obviously be on the top so I'm holding down shift and that is going to bring it up to the top and you can lower it down there as well so I'm just going to pop that in there press Z on my keyboard to rotate it now again I want to change the the texture here so I'm just going to go down to the bottom and pick that. You'll also see that there's a bit of an overhang. I would highly recommend that you do add something like this to your buildings just to keep it, well, a bit more realistic, I would say. So we're just gonna rotate this all into position and we'll put ones at the back as well believe that just needs one there okay so you see, can see here that this is not obviously lined up perfectly because we do have this wall piece that is kind of sticking out a bit so i'm going to click in once and then press the shift to grab that one i'm going to press v on my keyboard and that is just because i know that's the shortcut you can also come up here and this is going to give you your advanced move so i can go away and put this right to the back there which is obviously going to cover all that section up but it does however mean that our kiosk is slightly sticking out ever so slightly so again grab your kiosk up here or v on your keyboard and you can just push that back to get it into the position that you want so i'm pretty happy with that so next thing we're going to talk about is z fighting so i've just came out of this group and i'm just going to give you a bit of an example so say if we want to have this texture here but we also want to have something on the bottom as well but if we go away and change the texture you can see there that you've got this like really funky horrible kind of fighting that's basically because these two areas are fighting for the space so you can see if i just move it back ever so slightly it's still fighting on the side there but that's basically what z fighting is if you get this like really horrible kind of triggering effect we want to have this bit on the bottom so again if we go into my group here go to edit group and then we are going to be putting in a different texture so we're going to go for this one now you can see on our, our grid here you have the inside and the outside of the grid and that's the same with this so that is essentially on the inside you can see that ever so slightly flicker there that's because it's trying to z fight and on the outside there what i would probably do is you can either put this just on the outside of the grid then select the wall piece and then go and press v on your keyboard and just 
just move it in so it is just not fighting with that space and again you can either come round to the front of this building as well and put it down and then pop that in as well don't worry about the side bits because we are going to be covering all that up so i'm going to go away and put this around the rest of the building and i'll meet you back here okay so that is it all around my building you can see there it is looking absolutely fine so what i want to do is obviously change it to the same texture that i've got over here so i'm clicking on this building and go to edit group i'm then selecting the bottom piece that i want to change the color to now the color picker i would honestly just copy this so press in control and C on my keyboard and then going back to the one that I've got selected here again going to edit group and then I'm holding down shift to select all of the bottom piece here and then that will allow us to basically go away and change that color so again if we go down to the color picker and we take that away and press Control v paste that in and that is change that color now we're just basically having to make this a little bit more fancier so if we come up to our structural elements here if we scroll down to the bottom we're going to create a bit of an awning so if we go to our cog here you can see at the bottom the surface so this is basically a line to surface so you can see it's on along the bottom and then it snaps to that top bit and that's exactly what we want so you can either eyeball it and just you know pop it down doesn't have to be absolutely perfect if you did want to move it a little bit more advanced then press v on your keyboard and again you can put that exactly where you want it and then again we're just going to give it a little bit of more structure here so i've got these little brackets which i think are pretty good um we are going to rotate this around so v on your keyboard get your little toggle up here a massive tip is make sure that you've got angle snap turned on so you can you know change the increments to this so 90 is always a good one again i'm pressing v on my keyboard to get out my advanced move here um, so we can pop that into position so we'll just pop one on the end there and then we are putting another one down as well from this position i would like to have a metal pole running down here as well so there we go got a little bit of structural support on the awning there now we're going to work on our basket so i believe we're going to props so i'm going to go for this tropical basket now this is pretty large i would say so again select it if you're on your keyboard and you can scale it down we're going to go into our gardening and find some mulch we just want to make this a lot smaller and pop that in there and then go away and get some flowers again we're just going to stretch that down and fit it into the basket again we will have to get some support here so i'm going to get my bracket here control v on my keyboard to duplicate that over so we're just going to put two of them up so one here and one here and then we just need some rope basically to to tie this all in together we'll just move this into position for just now okay looking good so we've got our rope here and you can see we are still snapping all over the place which is absolutely fine I want to move this into position, so I'm pressing V on my keyboard. Again, with my angle snap still turned on because it is really going to help you guys out. And then we are just going to just make this a little bit smaller because it, it is just a little bit too crazy for my liking. And then we're just going to stretch that out there uh, ever so slightly. Now, I want this to obviously go to each side. And the best way to do that is turn your angle snap on. I would say maybe 10. And all we're doing is we're just moving it out to the side there if you wanted it right bang on there you can obviously move it back and uh, put it into position so we're just going to make this ever so slightly smaller and then again we're pressing ctrl v to duplicate that we're just going to swing that over to the other side and then we'll get another bit so there we go that is our baskets in as well now we're going to be making the sign so i like to use this big old cube here so again we still have our surface lock there as well so we're just going to press v on our keyboard move it closer to the wall we're just going to squish this down again we're going to select it and we're going to change the color to black and then if we go away into our signs here we want the sweet tooth sign and that's absolutely massive <laughs> so again v on your keyboard and we can put our angle snap back on just because we know exactly that this is going to be lined up 
and then we're just going to make it ever so slightly smaller okay moving that into position now you can see over here i've got these like little fake lines and that's just basically to imply that there's text so the whole idea of this is there's it's a chalkboard and they've wrote like maybe the ice cream prices and so on and so forth so i'm selecting my box here pressing ctrl v and that has duplicated my box i want my text to be white so we've changed that there and we are just basically going to be using our stretch tool to make these tiny little lines quite good to always have like a bit of a chunky one at the top so you can imagine that's you know a header and then making just little text at the bottom as well so that is our prices put into position as well now you may want to go away and put in some extra design on this you can see here on this one that we do have a little black trim around the bottom and we do have a beam there as well so we will quickly do that oh and also we forgot to put the door in let's get the door in first i think that's quite a, a, a good idea so okay we've got our door here we're just popping it down to that side because we have our line to surface on and then basically we're just wanting to get some wood as well so we've got our wood there and you can see that that is going to snap to that if we take that off it is not going to snap to it you can see there uh, so you can press v to just get your advanced move tool up basically i would just pop this into position shrink it down a little bit just move it to exactly where you want it and then all i'm going to do is be putting this around the rest of my building Okay, so now that is the trim all put into position so we're going to go over to the side and basically create our little garden area as well so we're going to go back into edit group we are going to go away and select a little wall piece here and basically all we want to do is uh, a little section here that our guests can come in and basically sit down and chill out so that is that bit all put in here you can see that you know some bits are kind of sticking out a bit but again i would just use your advanced move tool just to tidy it up a little bit uh you may want to put some path in here as well or you can go away and maybe create some decking so if you come in up here you can type in floor and that will basically give you a flat piece there that you can place down this is also another great tip that you can adjust your grid height and your grid width so you can see here that when I'm trying to lower that to the floor, it's not necessarily going all the way down. But if I go away and take that all the way off, then I can easily put that into position there. You can see that our grass uh, wants to come through as well. So I would just be going to a different substrate here. Uh, we'll make the the size a little bit smaller and just get rid of that grass. So we're going to pop in some benches for our guests. Last thing we have to put in is some light and this little section here. So we are going to grab, actually, go back into edit group. We're going to grab one of these and we are going to duplicate it, control D on our keyboard. And we are just going to place this into position. And then to give it a bit of more structure, I'm just going to select this one, control V to duplicate it. Again, with our angle snap turned on, we are just going to rotate that around, pull that up to the top, and we're just going to basically make a bit of a frame. Okay, so that's our frame done. One thing I'm going to point out is if you do have two pieces that are like this, you can see ever so slightly that there is Z fighting just because there is two sections that are overlapping each other. So when possible, I would use the stretch tool. Obviously, sometimes you can't do that because of the texture, but I'm happy with that. We're then just going to take this little section here, control D on our keyboard, which is holding down shift to get into position. And then we are just going to move this to basically sit on the top here.
Now we've came to this bit and obviously if I duplicate this over again it is going to overlap so I would just be holding down shift selecting everything that we've got and we are just going to press V to move it over ever so slightly and just stretch that out again. So there we go that's not looking too bad next we are going to be adding in some light so if we go up to our lights here um i did decide to put in some lights on the pathway as well so this is great because we can use the little hexagon as a, a kind of a guide so we're missing out one put one down missing out one put one down also we can go away and change the color of this so if you go down to our day night cycle i would recommend selecting this so that changes the actual the rim of it obviously the first one is for the light color but i would highly recommend if you just like take that color down a little bit because when it's like that it's like super bright so yeah just take it down so it's a little bit more subtle then we're going to put some lights around the top here we're nearly there guys so again we're going to go into our edit group we're going to select this as a guide we're going to press ctrl v and that has duplicated that but we are actually going to be going back to our lights here selecting which lights you want to use so we'll just head back into daylight there we go nice and bright again and then in the back here i just literally go away and put in a bunch of different foliage rocks all that kind of goodness if you've already got rocks in your park so i can press ctrl d and bring this over here so these rocks are now all grouped together but say actually i only just want this rock at the front so if you go to edit group select that rock and then go to split to group so now this rock is now freely on its own to be placed wherever it wants and the ones at the back are now still in one group so again if i wanted to split just this section here so i'm holding down shift and selecting it all split from group that is now available to move around. Now say that actually, I don't want all these groups. If I just wanted to move them all at one time, I can hold down shift, select everything that I want, including these rocks over here and go to merge group. So now when I press move, they are all one unit, so to speak. Don't be afraid to experiment with things, guys. It is the best way to learn the game. So go ahead and uh, just really enjoy the game and, and see what you guys come up with. So until next time, have a wonderful day. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you would like to learn. And I will catch you in the next one. So until then, take care.